Hello, my Biblio darlings, and welcome to Bibliothesia. Bibliothesia is a channel that brings stories to life through my reading stories. And in case we haven't met before, my name is Mally. The story that I'm going to read to you today is called We Share Everything. And I love the story. I used to read it to my daughter when she was really young, and she loved it. But before we read the story, let's remind our bodies that we're safe right here and in the moment. And we're going to do that through a deep breathing exercise. And I'm going to share some jokes with you, some knock-knock jokes. The whole purpose of that is when you hear something that's funny, you laugh. And when you laugh, your body relaxes. So with that, let's do the deep breathing exercise. And how we do that is we pretend we have a balloon inside our tummy and we're going to inhale for four counts then we're going to hold the breath for four counts and then we're going to exhale out for eight counts so are you ready let's pretend we have a balloon inside our tummy and inhale deeply and make that balloon pretend balloon bigger and bigger and inhale deeply for one two three four now hold the breath for mm, 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 mm. Now exhale out for eight, like you're blowing out birthday candles. Good job. Yay. And you know, I really appreciate when we do the deep breathing exercises because it's a beautiful, gentle reminder that oh, by the simple act of breathing, we can remind our bodies that we are safe right here, right now. And that's such an important tool to have when you're little and all the way to when you're big. And if I could put out the invitation for you that to do this deep breathing exercise just after you wake up in the morning and at lunchtime and just before you, get a, just before you go to sleep and when you and I spend time together. That would make me really happy because that would let me know that your body's getting calmer. And if you could do that for a whole bunch of days, that would be awesome. Now, let me lean over and get my joke book and share with you some knock knock jokes. Are you ready for the first joke? Okay. Knock knock. Who's there? Frank. Frank who? Frank you for being my friend. Get it? Thank you for being my friend. Aw, that's beautiful. Well, let's look at the second word. <laughs> oh, is your mind silly like mine? It's not the second word, it's the second joke. So here we go. Knock, knock, who's there? Wooden shoe. Wooden shoe who? Wouldn't you like to join me for dinner? Oh, <laughs> that's like, wouldn't you like to join me for dinner? And I'll read to you the third joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pause. Pause who? Pause me the ketchup, please. <laughs> oh, good. Pass me the ketchup, please. Oh, that is so good or so silly. Whichever way you look at it makes me laugh. Okay, now with that, I'm hoping you're feeling more relaxed and you're safe in the moment. And let's read the story, We Share Everything. And it's written by Robert Munch, who's written some amazing kids stories. I love Robert Munch stories so much. He, Robert Munch holds such a special place in my heart. And the stories are illustrated, this one, by Michael Marchenko. And it looks like there's a girl and a boy, and they are both holding part of a magazine. And it looks like there's students in the background. And all the students are, look like they're a little concerned and maybe a little scared. And it looks like the teacher is also there. So let's, you know, start the story. On their very first day of school, oh, it looks like the girl has a green backpack and the boy has a bagged lunch. It looks like there is a dog with um, handkerchief around um, its neck. It looks like on their very first day of school. So I'm going to go out on, on a limb and think and say that what they're looking at is their school. 
when they didn't know what to do, so the girl and boy are looking down at what looks like, oh my goodness, what's going on down there? There's a lot of kids and it's really loud and there's lots of toys going f flying up in the air and it looks like there's a balloon and a lunchbox and a juice box. Oh, there's an apple core. There's a partially eaten pizza slice. <laughs> there's the Enterprise, <laughs> the Star Trek Enterprise. Looks like there's a little duck and it looks like, what else do I recognize? There's a hockey puck. Oh, there's a red frisbee. Red frisbee. There's a um, hockey stick. Looks like there's a toy car, a broom, a green and white mid, a ball that's being spun around, a baby bottle, a dinosaur, a baton, looks like a trumpet, and a ladder. Oh, it looks like a, 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 a plunger for the toilet, and a cucumber. Oh my goodness, that's so busy. Okay, well, Amanda and Jeremiah walked into the kindergarten classroom and Amanda picked up a book. Jeremiah came over to her and said, give me that book. Amanda said, no, I won't give you this book. I'm looking at this book. So Jeremiah tried what worked with his little brother. He said, if you don't give me that book, I'm going to yell and scream. Too bad, said Amanda. Oh, <laughs> wow. So Jeremiah opened his mouth really wide and screamed, ah! and there's Jeremiah. He's screaming so loud that books and art supplies and everything is going up in the air and his glasses have gone off his face. And Amanda is standing there and her hair is being blown back. Amanda stuck the book in his mouth. Glumph! Jeremiah said, Quack! Amanda looks quite proud of herself, and Jeremiah, I think he's a little surprised. The teacher came running over and said, <laughs> Look, look at the teacher. <laughs> looks like she has birds and flowers, and she just looks all happy, and it looks like she is doing a ballet move. This is what the kindergarten said. The kindergarten teacher said, now look, this is kindergarten. And in kindergarten, we share, we share everything. Okay, 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 said Amanda and Jeremiah. Jeremiah started to build a tower with blocks. Ooh, let's look at it. Look at how tall it is. It looks like the Eiffel Tower. Amanda came over and said, give me those blocks. I won't give you the block, said Jeremiah. I'm building a tower. So Amanda tried what worked with her older brother. She said, if you don't give me those blocks, I'm going to kick them down. Too bad, said Jeremiah. Oh, looks like Amanda kicked the tower. So Amanda kicked the blocks. Crash! Blocks went all over the floor. Amanda yelled, ouch, 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 ouch. And she's trying to block um, herself from getting pummeled or hit by all those blocks. Looks like there's another student who's under a table and he's laughing. The teacher came running over and said, now look, and all the birds and the flowers are, are all around the kindergarten teacher. She said, now look, this is kindergarten. In kindergarten, we share, we share everything. Okay, 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 said Amanda and Jeremiah. Then Jeremiah and Amanda went to play with the paint. I'm first, said Jeremiah. No, I'm first, said Amanda. If you don't let me go first, said Jeremiah, I'm going to yell and scream, like he did last time. Too bad, said Amanda. So Jeremiah and Amanda were both first, and paint went flying all over the room. Jeremiah yelled as loudly as, loudly as he could, Let's look at the at the picture. There's so much paint going all over the place. It's even running down the top of the page. And there's purple and dark green and light green and orange and yellow. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> and here comes a teacher with her bird 
birds and the flowers. Oh, and it looks like red and green are, are coming down the paper. Oh my goodness. The teacher and all the kids came running over and said, now look, this is kindergarten. In kindergarten, we share, we share everything. So Jeremiah looked at Amanda and said, okay, Amanda, we are supposed to share. What are we going to share? I don't know, said Amanda. Let's share, let's share, let's share our shoes. Good idea, said Jeremiah. So they shared their shoes and Jeremiah said, look at this, pink shoes, and they fit just right. My mom never gets me pink shoes. This is great. Let's share, let's share, let's share our shirts. So they shared their shirts and Jer Jeremiah said, look at this, a pink shirt. No other boy in kindergarten has a pink shirt. <laughs> That's so cool that they're sharing everything. Yes, said Amanda, this is fun. Let's share, let's share, let's share our pants. So they shared their pants. Wow, said Jeremiah, pink pants. The teacher came back and said, oh, Jeremiah and Amanda, you're sharing and you're and you're learning how to act in kindergarten and you're being very grown up and Jeremiah I really like your pink pants Jeremiah where did you get those pink pants oh said Jeremiah it's okay Amanda and I shared our clothes the teacher yelled what have you done who said you could share your clothes and all the kids said now look this is kindergarten in kindergarten, we share. It looks like the teacher is going like this, like the class is out of control. It looks like there's shirts and pants flying all over the place. And they say, we share everything. And it looks like the teacher has passed out because just too much sharing, I guess. And all the kids shared their clothing. So what, do you, what did you think of We Share Everything, the story? This story, I, I have to mention, brought back such fond and wonderful memories. So thank you for hearing a story which I love to share with, with my daughter when she was younger. So with that, let's remind our bodies as we start to wrap our time together, let's remind our bodies that we're safe right here and now. And let's do that deep breathing exercise again. Let's inhale deeply for one, two, three, four. And now let's hold the breath for mmm, 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 mmm. Now let's exhale out for eight. Oh, what a gentle reminder that we are safe and we are um, we are safe and everything is okay right now as we get in touch with our breathing. And let me reach over and get the joke book so I can share some more jokes with you. Your body can laugh and as it laughs, it can feel more relaxed. So let's read the three knock knock jokes. Knock knock, who's there? Turn up. Turn up who? Turn up the TV. I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> oh, turn up, not turn up, turn up the TV. Okay, here's the second one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Goat. Goat who? Goat to bed. It's getting late. <laughs> That's so great. Goat to bed. And here's the third and final one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ken. Ken who? Can I have a pony for my birthday? <laughs> well, which one was your favorite joke? Please write it in the comments below. It's been wonderful spending time with you today. And let the adult know that you're with to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to click on the bell notification. Well, it's been wonderful spending time with you today. And I look forward to when you come back to hear more stories and to do more deep breathing exercises and to hear more jokes. Well, with that, see you later. Bye.